It's a what? It's a water up here, just the video. It's really slow down here. Okay. We're water up here. Up here. We're water up here. Okay. Okay, I'm up here. Yeah, Hey guys, I'm in uh, Diego Suarez, Madagascar. That actually, um, I, I was here for three weeks, then I went to Sambaba. If you look at my other videos, you'll see a couple videos about Sambaba. Um, so I was in Sambaba for five days and I returned here. I really like Diego. The reason is, there's just a lot of things to do here, day and night. Like for example, there's a few nice cafes. You can hang out during the day for an hour or two. Great restaurants. And they have some nightlife here too, taxi fee. It's happening every night. I think we've got a market down here. Maybe I'll do a separate video on the marketplace here, but. Yeah, get a market down there. This is like a real busy, this street gets really busy around 4.30 at night. It's, it's really hot during the day. A lot of people don't come out until about 4, 4.30 at night time. So anyway, I'll talk about my recent travels. I was took a bus from here to Sambaba and I was there for about four or five days. Super nice beach. There's an area of the beach where it's great for swimming. But, you know, I got to be honest, it's, it just gets boring for me anyway. After a couple of days, because there's really no, almost nothing to do there, especially during the day, even at nighttime, nothing to do. Uh, maybe during, on Sunday, I did a whole video on this. Uh, Sunday around 4.30 at the boardwalk, it gets pretty, really busy. Like a lot of people from the town go down there to drink and, and uh, congregate. And they have some, I think they had a live band there. But other than that, the place is just, it's just dead, okay? Maybe that's what you want, you know? If you want to go someplace with a nice beach, it's really laid back. I can imagine like if you're, if you want to spend like a, a month writing a book or working on a computer program, it'd kind of be a nice place to hang out. But there was, there was no rest. There's one restaurant there that's pretty decent. But almost every time I went to the restaurant, I was the only one in there. You know, it was just really empty. Just empty much, most of the time. And there's really, there was no real cafes to hang out at. There's nothing to do. I mean, that's the only way I should say it, describe it. So from there I went to Ambalobi, which is kind of like a great place. Like if you're, if you're taking a bus up north to Diego or Sambaba or to Nosy Bay, if you're taking the bus, I would highly recommend you stop off at either Ambalobi or Ambanda. Or day or two because these bus trips are brutal, man. Like the bus trip from Ajinga to Diego is 28 hours, most of the time on unpaved roads full of potholes. And my back was just spent after. I, I basically took a week for my back to recover from the trip. On hindsight, I would have stopped in Ambalobi for a day or two, which I did on this trip. And Ambalobi is a small town, is thing. Hey, Again, almost nothing to do there, but there is a hotel called Hotel Kazobi, and it's one of the best hotels I've ever stayed at. I'll put a videos. Um, this room I'm showing you is 35 US, less than 35 US dollars a night. Amazing balcony. The place has got a great pool. They got a restaurant there. So if you go there, stay at Hotel Kazobi, recuperate, and then continue on your voyage, whether it be to Diego or um, 
some baba or no CP. Because I took, I spent a couple days in Ambalobi, relaxed, swarming the pool. And the trip from Ambalobi to Diego is only five or six hours. And I wasn't even really that tired after the voyage, which is uh, unusual. But we've got a... By the way, I'm walking to a boulangerie, which is a really great hangout point called Boulangerie Amical. It's like a really popular place where people hang out. We've got some local uh, expats and some local people. It's, it's, it's a good place to hang out. It's on a, you'll see at the end of this video, it's um, on a corner. You can just hang out, drink coffee. You can watch people walk by this. This town is the right size for me. It's not too big, but not so small. One thing you should do if you come here is take a uh, uh, bajaj. Bajaj is called instead of tuk tuk. You can take a bajaj to the Romana beach. And the road is really smooth from Diego Suarez to to uh, the main beach. Pardon. It's really smooth, so you can take a tuk tuk, and there's it's a smooth, nice ride, scenic ride. Um, and it takes I don't know, maybe it took maybe 40 minutes to get there. It cost 30,000 round trip, was on, which is only like nine dollars round trip. And the Romania Beach is really nice. Just go there around, um, I don't know, for, for lunchtime, maybe come back around five o'clock or so before it gets dark. But it's just a short enough trip that you can do it. It's a nice day trip. So of all the places I've been in Madagascar, I'm not an expert, obviously, but I've been here three trips. And I like Tuliar, I like Tamatav, but I would put Diego Suarez above all of those, because it's like, like, I don't expect a lot of infrastructure, but there's enough here that keep you busy during the day. And like I said, tons of nice cheap restaurants. There's a couple cafes down on the, like the main tourist street called Rue Colbert. There's tons of hotels down there. You got hotels ranging from cheap $14 hotels in a great location to uh, the Grand Hotel, which I believe is around 400,000 Ari Ari a night, which is 90 US dollars or something. But they've got this amazing, I think from the pictures I've seen it, they've got an amazing uh, US flag. You see a lot of US flags there. You don't see many French flags here. Um, we've got an amazing indoor pool. And look, a lot of hotels, you can just go to the pool for uh, the day. Pay a Another thing, you got supermarkets here. We got ladies walking around selling. Every morning they sell uh, melons and mangoes and I think papayas and lemons and bananas. And they're just really good quality, you know, for a cheap price. I think I said this in another video, but if you go to like touristy, there's a place called Score, which is kind of a touristy supermarket. They're charging ten thousand for a melon here, and on the street you get it for like three thousand. <laughs> and then at the market back there, it's probably two thousand.
We're getting close to the Blondery. People here seem really happy. You just see a lot of people walking around, smiling their face, talking to their friends. I didn't see that so much in uh, now below me, you know, just like people walking on the street, it's brutal hot. You don't really have these sidewalks like you have here. A lot of, a lot of pollution. Same in Tana, so you don't really see a lot of people enjoying themselves. But here, different story. It's Baba's. Like I said, I really wanted to like that place. I wanted to stay there about three weeks, but I just after four or five days, man, I just got in the bus. Too dull, not enough to do for me. But like I said, if that's what you want. And I, I write computer software, I can see spending a month there just working on like an Apple Apple iPad application or something like that. You're not gonna have many distractions. I actually stayed down this road at an apartment and I'll be moving into a new apartment next week. So that's it for today. Thanks.